What's up YouTube? I just got a notification from my ring camera that my replica hood just arrived right now. It's a replica version of the Varus Magnum hood with the double bonnet scoop. But instead of being carbon fiber, I had it made in forged carbon and I had the guy add a candy blue tint to it to match the rest of the forged carbon that I did all around the entire car. I locked up my office, I ran right away. I'm on my way home right now to go put it inside the garage and then I gotta finish up some more work before I get started on it. So I'll continue the video later tonight once I finish up work. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how you package up a $3,000 hood. Not with cardboard. You're gonna take notes, Varus, Vivid, Bullet, whoever packaged up the last one. Can't use a cardboard box for something this expensive. Just the packaging alone on this bad boy is enough to get you hyped up. I mean, look at that thing compared to this piece of garbage. Even though it came 100% perfect, no damage on it, why would you package up a three $3,500 hood, carbon fiber hood, and this box and put fragile on it when you can give your customers what they deserve and package it like this shout out to titan for this check them out on instagram titan automotive he does all different kinds of work with carbon fiber forged carbon for multiple different cars i didn't want to open it until later when i get started on it but i think i'm gonna have to or else i'm gonna stay daydreaming about this thing all day so i'm gonna unscrew it check it out see if there's any damage and see how it looks i hope this thing came out amazing Seriously guys, shout out to Titan. I mean, look at all the extents he went to to package this and make sure it came from overseas in good condition. I mean, I gotta get a box cutter now to pull off all this bubble wrap. I was almost so freaking disappointed because I unwrapped it all and I saw carbon fiber and I was about to lose my freaking mind for it to be carbon fiber right now. But I realized it's upside down, so I gotta flip it over. So now that I have to take it completely out of the box and flip the whole thing over, I'm gonna leave it the way it is right now and come back to it later. Um, I don't got the time to do all that right now and I really don't wanna take it out if I don't plan on already installing it. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it there, come back in a couple hours, it's about two o'clock right now. I'll probably be done around six. Get started on it, have some buddies come over and help me install it and get rid of this old stock hood right here. I mean, it's nice and everything, but with this body kit, you gotta get a more aggressive hood to finish it off. All right, boys, we're back, dressed in uniform. Got myself a helper out here, also dressed in uniform conveniently. But let's get started on this. Pop this hood open and show you guys what it's gonna take to get this installed. So it looks like it's only gonna be these two bolts along with this center right here and the one bolt right here for the hydraulic lift. And also on the other side, same thing. Might have to take this out right here and convert it onto the other one. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. We'll find that out later and see if this new hood came with one. All right, boys, let's get this thing pulled out and see how it came out on the other side. Already got a couple scratches right here. Check these things out. Right. I mean, it's not a big deal. This is the back side. What uh, is the big deal is how the blue forged carbon came out. Oh my God, check this out. So sexy. Blue forged carbon. Kind of has a little green tint to it, but this looks incredible. Nothing you've ever seen before. So my plan is to paint match these outside layers right here and only leave from here inward showing the blue forged carbon as well as from here inward. So all this outside, it's like U shape around the out is gonna be paint matched to the matte gray on the car. Check it out boys, full glory. This thing is gonna look sick with the whole body kit. I can't wait to get this on. We gotta get started, we're in a rush. We only got one hour to get this installed, so let's get on it. I went ahead and just reconnected the hood because it wasn't really that hard to take it off. Like I said, it's three bolts, three bolts, really easy. Um, but this is actually the line for the windshield washer fluid. I thought the windshield sprayers were like down here. So that's why I didn't think it was that. But yeah, this is the line for there. And then you have to remove the two clips right there. You just put a flathead screwdriver in, pull them out, disconnect the line, and then you can yank the line out from here. And there's one on that side and one on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera real quick. Make sure you guys are careful when you guys put the flathead screwdriver in to take off the uh, little spray thing for the windshield washer fluid. I stuck it in a little bit too far and uh, kind of cut this one right here. 
but it's fine. I can cut it from right here where it's uh, torn from and just connect it. There's a lot, there's a little bit of slack, but if there's not enough slack for you to do that, you could just disconnect it from here and buy a new line from AutoZone. They sell these everywhere. AutoZone, Home Depot. All right, boys, there she is without the hood. And with all this blue forged carbon shown right here, I think I should just get one of those new style, the clear hoods. Flex everything that's in there, huh? Much better than this hood. I mean, this piece of garbage. Nah, I'm just kidding. This thing is sexy. Three months I've been trying to make a deal. Got to sell this piece of garbage to get this piece of garbage, which I'm delivering this to the buyer this weekend. Finally got someone to officially pay me and not back out. So now we were able to get this one. sexy so here's a common issue though usually with aftermarket hoods a lot of the time you have issues lining it up because the company that made the hood when they drill the slots in for the bolts they don't drill them right or they drill them at an angle so i'm having an issue it's fitting way too tight right here and it gets really wide out on the outside over here it's fitting all right this is how it's supposed to be with like less than half an inch gap so this side looks really nice it gets a little wide on the outside, but I just got to find a way to kind of pull this side in while pulling, no, pull this side in while pulling that side out a little bit. So we're going to mess with that later on and put the lines back in later on. But I just want to show you guys and end the video, keep it short and simple, how this came out in the car. It looks incredible. I can't wait to get it paint matched. Once I get this paint match, it's going to look so aggressive and so mean. I'm going to paint match it with the car. Like I said, on the edges, U shape all the way around. Right here is gonna stay the blue forge carbon. The blue doesn't match exactly with what I did for the hydro dip, but it's pretty good. I mean, when you look at it at this angle, you can see this one's a little bit brighter, but it's still pretty good, close enough. It's the best we can do before SEMA, so this is what we're gonna have to go with this year. Might fix it on later. All right, boys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, share the video, share this channel. Appreciate you guys sticking around. I'm gonna keep it nice, short, and simple for you guys and end it right here. See you.